fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. When the days of Indian massacres had passed in the western United States and the settlers had planted their feet on the road to civilization, there were still many obstacles in their way. Crooked promoters and confidence men took the place of the old outlaws. It was an era of speculation, and they reaped a golden harvest. But finally, the masked rider of the plains declared war on them and drove them from the country. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for clear water. There's going to be trouble. Hello, Silver! Away! Two men sat at a corner table in the cafe at Clearwater, and... Well, Bowers, we can't be heard here. What'd you send for me for? Got something up your sleeve? Vogel, how'd you like to be a banker? What? Sure. The big iron safe and your name painted on the window and everything. How's it sound, eh? <laughs> Vogel, banker. You're crazy. You think so? Look, Bowers, I've traveled almost a thousand miles to get here after I read your letter. You said you had a scheme worth thousands. Well, either you have or you haven't. If you have, quit the joking and get down to business. What makes you think I'm not? But a bank, I I'm don't... I'm back east now, Vogel. Well, I know, this but This is a I new don't... territory. You know, they say the first two buildings to go up in every new town are a bank and a saloon. <laughs> I'm telling it to you straight. There ain't a thing between here and the border to stop us from being bankers. But how'd we get charters? You don't have to. Huh? <laughs> you know, I was talking to a gent a couple of weeks ago. He's a banker. I asked him how he got started. <laughs> Well, he told me he had an empty store in his hands and didn't know what to do with it. So he painted bank on the front of it. Well, pretty soon a fellow moseyed in, deposited a couple hundred in cash. Next day, a couple more fellows come in, deposited some more. Well, sir, you know what he told me? What? <laughs> he said less than a week went by before he got enough confidence in that there bank to put in $50 of his own. <laughs> <laughs> well, doggone. It sounds like a joke, don't it? But sure as I'm sitting here, it really happened. All right, we start a bank. Then what? Skip out with the funds? Uh, well, then how you... The piker money. No, I've got a better scheme. You have? What? We start two banks. Huh? I'll start one here. Desert Wells is about 100 miles west of here. That's where you start. I don't get it. Then we put out paper money. We can do that? Sure. As much as we can pay to have printed. Now, wait a minute, Bowers. Wait a minute. We put out that money, and then what happens when someone brings it in to get silver or gold? If they come to your place... Yeah? You take back your paper money and give them mine. And if they go to you... I give them yours. And we can get away with that. <laughs> Why not? There's worse being done every day. Bowers? Well? I don't believe it. You don't? But doggone if I don't give it a try.
It is, sir. What can I do for you? I sold him a place a couple of days ago. Oh, yes. Had to take in some of your paper money to make the deal. Oh? It's good, ain't it? Huh? Oh, well, certainly. And here it is. I'm turning it in for redemption. Ah. $2,000. Yes, so. Yeah, one moment. Of course I'll redeem it. Ah, there you are, sir. $2,000. Hope I can serve you again. Uh, the Bank of Desert Well. Hey, what kind of money is this? You mean to say you don't know where Desert Wells is? Sure. Sure, but I meant to... Sir, that money is as good as gold. <laughs> Bank said your money was good as gold, mister. So I thought... Yes, yes, one moment. Uh, 1950, 1990, uh, 2000. There you are. Count it for yourself, please. Sure, I always... By thunder, mister, what's going on here? Going on? I'm afraid I don't understand. No? Well, you listen to me. I took Clearwater money to their bank and they give me yours. Yes. And I come clear over here to you and you give me Clearwater cash right back again. Why, certainly. Just what's a big idea? Did you want to be cheated? You bet I don't. That's what I'm getting at. Then don't complain. I've paid you off with the soundest currency in the district. Well, can't I ever change this for gold? Are you trying to say the Clearwater Bank can't be trusted? No, no, Good. but I... I advise you not to. Such a charge is a very serious matter, sir. As I promised you'd learn if I reported it to my friend, Mr. Bowers. <laughs> Hi, Barkey. Fill these up. Well, Bowers, it's working like a charm. Yeah, didn't I tell you it would? Yes, but I couldn't believe it. I've had $10,000 more printed. I'm having the same. Let's see now. How much does that make all told? Almost $50,000, does not it? Sure, it must. $50,000, Vogel, think of it. <laughs> We've only just begun. This can't go on forever, though. Of course not. We'll go on playing long enough to suit me. We'll convert our securities into gold whenever we're able. We'll keep the gold handy. Well, it looks like the bubble's ready to break. <laughs> we that moose, huh? Exactly. We disappear. <laughs> Vogel, our careers as beggars may not be long, but you can take it from me. They'll be prosperous. <laughs> Where's the barkeep of those drinks? That calls for a toast. It was a month later that the Lone Ranger and Tonto were riding along the trail not far from Clearwater and... Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 we'll camp here, Tonto. <coughs> not ride on? I've changed my mind. We're staying in the district. Uh, what we do? Tonto, when we caught up with Scar and turned him over to the sheriff, did you notice the paper money he had in his money belt? Uh, him have plenty. Him steal it. Of course. But that isn't what I meant. No? Most of it had been issued by a bank at Clearwater. Oh, me not see that. There's no reason why you should have. Unless you understood the situation, it wouldn't mean anything to you. Uh, what matter? Kimasabe, no new territory can be opened up successfully without banks to extend credit to the settlers. Uh-huh. But those same banks, without proper regulation, can do the territory far more harm than good. Not right. And under present conditions, that's exactly what's happening. Banks are springing up everywhere, some with charters and some without. Most of them are issuing bank notes against the securities they hold without permission from the legislature. Um, money no good? Much of it isn't. Some is worth only about 10% of its face value. Others more. And I'll wager not one bank in five of all those issuing bank notes has enough assets to redeem those notes in gold or silver on demand. Um, that why we stay? Yes, Tonto. When I saw those bank notes the sheriff took from Scar, I began wondering. Uh, what is this Clearwater Bank? Who's behind it? Uh, me not know. No, and what's more, I haven't a doubt that few around here do. This section's building up rapidly. 
Everyone's talking about the new towns that'll spring up, about the increase in land values. They're certain will come. Oh. Those towns will be built, Kimosabe, and values will rise. Mm, that'd be good. But what it's taken the soldiers, pioneers, and the trail breakers years to create, a money panic could destroy in one short week. Tell them what the people of this district won't do, we shall. Mm, what that? Ask a few pointed... What's that? You hear? Shots to the saddle, Tanner. Uh-huh. <clears throat> they came from beyond that hill. Follow me. Come on, sir. Get him up, Scout. Hurry, boy. Hurry. you fellas on my place again, I won't waste time shooting over your heads. I'll put lead where it'll do the most good. Now get going. Don't forget that I mean what I say. Oh, troublemakers. Come on inside, Helen. Bob, do you think they'll come back? <laughs> no, I reckon not. Their kind only makes trouble when you show you're afraid of them. Stand up to them and they leave you alone. You were wonderful. I did all right at that, didn't I? I... I was so frightened. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't blame you. Thought it was a holdup myself at first. Drunken hoodlums. They think because they pack guns and herd cattle for a living, they can pick on homesteaders whenever they want to. Well, guess I showed them. Bob. Huh? They, they weren't crooks, of course, but but they might have been, and and if they had. What do you mean? Oh, Bob, I, I suppose you'll just laugh at me again, but but I was thinking of our savings. The house just isn't a place to keep money. We're so far from town, and, and if somebody did hold us up... <laughs> oh, started on that again, huh? Well, I don't care. The place to keep our money's in the bank. Mm-mm, not for me. But, Bob, don't you Not see... these banks, Helen. We're not in the east now. We're out west. What do we know about these banks? No, now that money stays where it is. Oh, but if you'd only see... Oh, hey, what the... What's going on here? What's the trouble? Mass man, why are you... Don't, Bob, don't. He'll shoot you. Go my no, arm. please, no. There's no need to reach for that gun, young fellow. To get this mask, I'm no crook. Then what do you want Tano to... and I heard shots from this direction. It sounded like trouble. We came to investigate. Uh, you don't mean to rob us? Of course not. Whew. Golly, I thought this time it was a hold-up for sure. Well, thanks for getting here, but we weren't in trouble. Not bad trouble, anyhow. No? We just had a little set to with some cowboys... They stopped to water their horses and then started acting up. Thought they'd give us a scare, I guess, but, well, I sent them on their way. I'm glad to hear it was nothing worse. You, uh, you say you're not an outlaw? I'm not. But that man... No, no, don't ask questions, Ellen. Oh, I just meant... Well, that's all right. The mask doesn't mean what it seems to mean. You're new to the West, aren't you? I haven't been here more than a month. Well, you may learn before you're here much longer that sometimes there's need for others besides crooks to hide their identities. I'll leave you. But if you do have trouble, fire three shots. We can't close enough to hear them. Oh, say, listen, stranger. I... Adios. Well, I'll be switched. Bob, who could he be? Gosh, I couldn't even make a guess. Do you think... Huh? He said others besides crooks sometimes had to hide their identities. Yes, that's it. It must be. Must be what? He's a vigilante. They wear masks. Gosh, you think so? Of course. Hey, maybe you're right. What else could he be if he's not an outlaw? Well, I don't know, but vigilante or not, that was one too many scares for me. Bob, what are you... Now, where's the box we put that money in? You mean... I guess you were right. Oh, here it is. Uh, Try my hat, will you? You're going out? This money's going to the Clearwater Bank. Oh, thank goodness. It may not be so safe, but it can't help being safer than here. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. For a week, the Lone Ranger and Tonto quietly pursued their investigation of the Clearwater Bank. And then one evening, they turned their mounts toward the cabin belonging to the young couple from the east. We'll soon be there, Tonto. Uh I think Bob's the man to help us. He hasn't been in the district long, but he seems to have made a good many friends. Him, good feller. And people trust him, which would make him ideal for our purpose. All right. Of course, we don't know for sure as yet that Bowers is a crook. In spite of appearances, his bank at Clearwater may be sound. But we'll know more about that when we see how he acts after that fellow at Desert Wells gets the letter I sent him. A uh, feller named Vogel? Well, that's the one, Kimasabi. From all I can gather, he and Bowers seem to be rather closely connected. Uh huh. Each has established a bank. Vogel at Desert Wells and Bowers at Clearwater. Uh huh. Both banks were started at about the same time. And each without authority to do so is printed and circulated banknotes. And them print plenty cash. Yes, that's another point. People don't realize how much of that money is in circulation around here. If they did, they might begin to wonder how banks their size could possibly have the backing to issue those amounts. Ah. Uh-huh. But the most suspicious circumstance is that neither bank, unless you absolutely insist, will redeem its paper money in gold. They do so only when they must to avoid trouble. The rest of the time, they pay out only paper money. Them crooks, all right. Well, I'll be surprised if we find they aren't. Well, there's the cabin, Tonto. Ah, uh, Tonto, see it. There's a light. They're home. Ah. Uh-huh. Well, this'll do. The rain up. No silver. Oh, won't oh, oh, it's gone. Oh, Alan, it's them. Stranger, I didn't think you'd ever show up. I was beginning to think you hadn't heard my shots. Shots? <laughs> There's been trouble. You mean you didn't hear them? We've been to Desert Wells. We've just come back. Oh. Well, what's happened? Why did you signal us? Well, well, I don't know, stranger. Maybe, maybe I was just foolish. It wasn't trouble like you meant, I guess. No. Well, maybe I shouldn't even bother you with it. Well, tell him, Bob. He might know what we can do. Go ahead. Well, stranger, it's it's like this. The day after we met you that time, Helen and I got to talking it over, and well, we, we decided we'd like to buy that 80 acres just west of our place. Yes. So I went to the bank and drew out the money for it and took the stage for Ridgeville. Well, that's where the fellow lives who owns that piece. Go on. Well, he wanted to sell all right, but when I got there, he wouldn't take my money. And we just about have to have that land, or we won't have enough to make a living on until we get the rest of ours cleared off. He wouldn't take your money? Why? Well, it was paper money put out by the bank in town. He just laughed at me. Said whenever he sold land, it would be for gold and not for shin plasters put out by some no-good wildcat bank. And then? I took the money back to the bank and asked for gold instead. But Mr. Bowers, the fellow who runs it, wouldn't give me gold. He's just been putting me off. Says the money's perfectly all right, but I'll, I'll have to wait a while. I see. What would we do? We must have that land. If you'd attempted to buy it from anyone else, the money you offered most likely would have been accepted. It was just your misfortune to find the land owned by a man shrewd enough to realize that paper money can never be worth more than the bank behind it. Uh, and the bank isn't any good? I'm sorry, Bob. I'm afraid it isn't. Oh, oh but that would mean a... Oh, savings. Everything we have... What do we do? Well, that's what Tonto and I rode here to tell you. Huh? I have a plan that calls for your help. You have? Now that your own savings are threatened, you should be willing to give it. It's a plan that'll give me back real money? You and all the others, Bowers has victimized. You, you hear that, Helen? Stranger, if you've got a plan like that, I'll, I'll do any doggone thing you say. Good, and you won't have to wait long. No? I wrote a letter, which I didn't sign, to a man named Vogel at Desert Wells. What do you mean? I suspect that he and Bowers are in this thing together. They are? Vogel should get that letter tomorrow. I believe in a couple of days after that, Vogel will arrive in Clearwater. And then things will begin to happen. Whoa, boy, whoa. Oh, there, oh. Who could have found out? If I knew who wrote this, wait till Bowers sees it. Bowers! Hey, Bowers, where the dickens are you? Who's it? Logan, what brought you here? Plenty. What? Somebody's found out about us. Here, look here. Careful, you fool. Someone might come in. But I want you... inside my office. We'll close the door. Now, what's wrong? Take it, read it. Letter? Can't you read? Aren't you getting a little excited? Calm down. <laughs> calm down. Go ahead. Read that. Then let's see how much you calm down. Keep quiet for a moment. I will read it. <laughs> what the? Vogel, when did you get this? 
day before yesterday. And you've just let me know? You think a man travels a hundred miles in a couple minutes? You think I didn't let you know as soon as I could? You understand what this means? Just as much as you do. We're finished. I knew that. I wish I knew who'd written this. I must have come here from the east and recognized us. It's all full of rot. No luck. use crying about that now. The same things happen to others. You can't never go so far that nobody recognizes you someplace, sometime. Yeah. But what we got to do is decide what we're going to do now. Whoever the fellow is, he said he's going after the United States Marshal. When he gets back... There'll be an investigation. And we'll be lucky if we don't end up being lynched. Hey, wait. What? The only Marshal has cleared the other end of the territory. Well? He can't be brought here in less than a week. Then what? Bogo. Get back to Desert Wells just as fast as you can. Yeah? You've turned everything into gold? Sure. And ship it out by stage for the east. When the stage reaches Clearwater, I'll put mine with it. And then? We'll wait just long enough to avoid suspicion. Then clear out and follow. Right. Get going. Bowers, I'm on my way. When you get back... Hey, Redskin, what in thunder are you doing in here? Mm, me, no sabe. Bowers, you must have heard us. In just a second. Engine, you speak white man's tongue, huh? You savvy pale-faced lingo? Mm, me, no sabe. You want something? Uh, me, no sabe. Uh, no need to worry about him, Bogu. Idiot just wandered in here for a place to loaf. Fool redskin. Got to keep him out of town. Go on, Bogo. Get started. I'll be back, Bowers. Before you know it. So they're getting their gold ready for shipment east, huh, Tonda? Mm, that's right. That's exactly what I wanted them to do. Tell to ride for Bob's place. Tell him the men, if Bowers sends a ship in the east, he's to go into action. Uh-huh. I'll meet you at camp. That's right. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. All right, old fellow. Let's go. Come on, old boy. Come on. Nice cut, Tonto. You go back and tell that mess, man. I'll keep an eye on things. That's good. When Bowers sends that gold, I'll start talking. And before he and that crooked sidekick of his can leave town, there'll be the biggest run on that Clearwater bank that any bank ever seen. Bogo returned to Desert Wells, sent his gold east by stage, then hurried back to Clearwater to rejoin his partner. Bowers shipped the gold in his possession by the same stage. And when this had been done, the two partners breathed a sigh of relief. That night, however, as the stage careened over the rocky trail... Get along, you critters! Get up there! Get up there! What the? Come on, Silver! Get him up, Scout! Stop that stand! Pull up, Pep! Pull up! Mask! Oh, hold up! Pull there! Pull back! Pull! Pull that boy! Pull there! Listen, you fellas. You're making a mistake. I ain't carrying anything worth the stealing. You Don't can't... give us that. I You're tell you, are carrying I... two strong boxes. Throw them down. Or stop lead. On the following day, Vogel and Bauer started a methodical destruction of all the records of the bank. Bauer, what about this stuff? What is it? The letters we wrote each other before I came here. Eh? I'll throw them in the still. Ah, uh, that's best. I wish I could figure out. Figure out what? Didn't you say when you came down to open up this morning, you found the back door had been broken open? I did. But we got rid of everything worth stealing, so what of it? I just wish we knew who was in here. You reported to the sheriff? And have the sheriff nosing around in here where we don't want him? Yeah, yeah, I didn't think of that. Just some crook. What do we care who he was? Well, I guess it don't matter. Of course it doesn't. Come on, let's finish up here. Uh-huh. Hey, there's someone out front. Yeah, I'll see what he wants. Yes? Mister, come here and give me some money. I'm going out every doggone penny I put in here. And where do you and want... Don't waste time talking. I want that cash before the others get here. Oh, oh, doggone, here they come now, mister. You hurry up. Bogo, you better come out here. Uh, I'll be glad to give you your money, sir. How much did you have coming? Oh, no, you don't. You ain't paying me off in paper money this time. You're giving me gold. Well, this is just... Hey, if this bank is going to go bust, yes, I want my shaver. I got my slip all made out. Yeah, give me my cash or somebody around here is going to get thrilled. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. There's nothing wrong with this bank. There's no need to get excited. 
Go home, think it over, and then... We've co- thought it over. And we want our money in gold, and we'll bust this place wide open. Yeah, here's some of your paper cash. Give me gold for that. I got some, too. I want my shave. Where's mine, you dirty crook? Yes. Quiet, Let's please, go. quiet. Please, just listen a minute. Now, hold it. Let's see what they got to say. Uh, Men, no bank can pay off everyone in gold on demand. You ought to know that. And, uh, And what? Well, uh, there's been holdups. We've sent our securities east for safekeeping. It'll take a little time to get them back. If, if you'll just and wait, you I... fellas time to sneak away? Nothing doing. We don't believe a word of it. That's you pay right. us off now or get lynched. But That's we right. can't, men. I swear we can't. You're asking the impossible. Don't and... listen to the men. They have gold here in spite of what they say. The last man. Who's that? If you don't believe me, open that door and look there in that storeroom. Come on, fellas. Maybe the masked fellow knows what he's talking about. Oh, come oh, on, yeah. Come on, there, there's the door, he means. There's nothing in there. You can look all you want, but we're telling you the truth. We haven't hey, got anything. Look here. What? Yeah, yeah there, 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 two, two strong boxes. And they're not locked. Come on, look them along. Oh, you did lie to us. You huh? said you didn't have no gold on hand. And you had it hidden away all the time. You were going to cheat it. That proves your crooks. No, no, no. no. Right. What, what do we do with gents like them? Car and feather. No, 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 them all the time on the rail. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yes, then let's go. What are we waiting for? Grab them. Hold them up. Come on. Well, whatever they get, they'll deserve. <laughs> and stranger, they'll get plenty. If they hadn't been crooked, they wouldn't have been alarmed when they received my letter. I said only that I was going to prevent their swindling people out here the same way they had in the East. And knowing they were guilty, they were scared sick. Then you and Tano brought the gold back here last night. Bob, you'll have to take care of that. Huh? Find the sheriff. Get him to take charge. That gold should cover most of the obligations of both banks. And the sheriff will see it's distributed fairly. Here comes, Hunter. Uh, a stranger. Yes? I know you won't be back with thanks, so I'm thanking you for the whole town. Adios, Bob. It's the final silver just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>